Ever since the 40 series cards were announced to have AV1 encoding, I've been excited to use this feature. Additionally, I've been looking for alternatives to CLI based transcoders like FSMPEG, as you see here. Nothing wrong with them, in fact, they can give you the exact results you want. I, however, like to easily automate things, and to me, GUIs, while sometimes limiting, it can be less work for me. That being said, I just realized, and I'm not sure if there was a previous nightly build, but as of the date of releasing this video, we now have AV1 NVENC support and there is 10-bit support if that's something you're interested in. So now we can finally use our RTX 40 series cards in Handbrake to transcode our videos and make our media vault smaller with little to no perceivable difference in quality. You get to decide how far you want to push the settings. Unlike AV1 CPU transcoding, GPU transcoding using the RTX 4060 that I have only took about 12 minutes to transcode on slow for a video file that was a little more than an hour and a half versus three or more hours on CPU AV1 SVT and encoder preset set to six. With my dual Xeon E52696V3 workstation. So this file is 244 megabytes. And now we're going to convert it to AV1. We'll put it on CQ40. Fast forward. Two forty four AV one sixty eight. Now let's look at the quality. So far, I can't tell the difference. Thought you guys would be able to. So, if we want to look at them back to back. You can see, it's really hard to tell. And I'm like five inches away from the screen. One more time. Let's go this one. The 40 is exaggerating, you probably don't want to do that. But the point is, we went from 244 megabytes to 68 megabytes. Going from H.264 to AV1. And we used hardware encoding with the RTX 40 series. AV1 and Venk. Alright guys, thanks for watching.